Hey, what's going on guys? Part-time fisher here. Hopefully y'all are getting out on the water and fishing, but it's my favorite time of the month. Monster bass came in, got both sacks, and if you notice, we're out on the water. So we're doing something a little different today. Figured I'd break into these a little bit, show you what's in here, but then Dad and I are each gonna tie out a bait from the sack, and we're gonna try to catch as many fish as we can on, well, different baits within it. So, diving into the first one, we do have Oh, nice. We did get the Lunker Candy Spinner Bait. That was one of the featured. We might actually tie that on if Dad doesn't steal from me. One that might be a little interesting, but we do have, we do have a bunch of crappie lighting up, so I might try to get some crappie on this. But we did get a jack slap blade. Nice little blade bait there. Jig that here vertically while we got all these crappie below us. That's what you're hearing in the background is the beeping of the fish finder. We did get perfect. And we got a Baker Lures JLD Series 110 jerk bait. Nice little shad color. Love tying up jerk baits, so this will get tied on by one of us today for sure. We did get some worms, so perfect. Dad brought us finesse rig, but we got a tattletail worm. It is in morning dawn color, kind of like a purple color. So not sure about that one, but we'll give that a shot too. We did also get some craws. These are by Bruiser Baits, and this is in a nice kind of blue blue flake color there so we'll definitely give those a shot as well this might be one thing we won't be giving a shot because i don't know what i'm gonna put it on but we did get some mustad size four uh triple grip hooks there and then we did get some paddle tails which will be perfect because we can put these on as trailers for stuff uh, or by themselves but it's that smart baits color changing baits i've used these guys before with their worms so it's awesome to get some paddle tails i'm excited to try that and then the we did get one more thing in here we did actually get a War Eagle buzz bait. Once again, not sure about this one, but it's a nice day. Maybe if we can get something to come up to the surface, we'll give that a shot as well. And then, like normal, you do get a nice little sticker. Add that to your bait wall, add to your tackle back or tackle box, excuse me, and we'll see what we can do. So that was what's in the first one. Get that all thrown back in here. And this was in your. Let me make sure I get this one right. This was the not your Midwest Great Lakes, but your. Uh, Pacific Northwest box was this one. Now your Midwest Great Lakes, open this bad daddy up. We did get a Bait Labs uh, crankbait. This one goes, if I can see where it tells me how deep it goes. And of course, you know, I'm never gonna find it in time. That's how that goes. But nice little kind of custom pattern there. That'll be nice in this lake here. We did get another jerk bait. This time we got the Monster Bass 110 slick or slick stick 110 and kind of a cracked out red so it's red with the cracked out white so we can each throw a, a jerk bait if we need to uh, i was hoping i got these but we did get the pro series xo lures this has this is their adrenaline craw 4.25 inch but <clears throat> these guys these have a floating claw so texas rig this get it to dive down those claws will float up give us some nice action we did also get perfect a strike king 3xd series it dives 10 12 foot We've got some deeper parts in this lake that we're at. Nice little shad pattern there. So we'll give that a shot as well if we find these bass are hiding lower. And then we got a Thunderhawk Hybrid Diver. Uh, it's a 3 inch, 3 8 ounce. It already comes with, it looks like you get two jig heads and then it's already pre rigged on two of them and an extra trailer. A nice little minnow there as well to throw. And okay, I thought I heard a rattle. I just had to make sure. We did get another one of those jack slap blades so maybe if that is, is firing up the crappie we'll both give those a shot and then the last thing is we did get a four inch curly this is by chase baits i've tried their smaller curlers i love them but it's a nice four inch curly tail bring this up on a jig head it'll be perfect right now so we've got plenty of options so give us a minute here we'll choose the bait dad do you know what you're going to throw on first maybe the new worm which I'm one? already I already got a hook on, so okay. So dad's gonna go worm, and guys, I think we got a pocket just to the well. Now they're right I think behind what us. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tie on this jack slap, and I'm gonna give this a couple jigs, and then now I'm gonna go to a jerk bait. So we're gonna get rigged up, and I'll check back in with you when we get rigged up. All right, guys, we got rigged up. I'm gonna run the jack slap. We got a bunch of fish lighting up behind us here, so I'm just gonna kind of pitch in behind, get this guy to go out just a little bit. We're gonna let that guy fall, and I'm just gonna kind of vertical jig this guy and see what we get turned up. 
And then dad's got a Nico set up on that, uh, that purple worm there that we got. But we're going to cast out a little further here. I'm going to let this guy kind of sink. And then we might just kind of yo-yo this guy back in. Or, you know what, I'm going to give it kind of a slow crank and see what we run into. Oh, is dad hooked up or did dad find the bush? Dad's not fighting. Dad, hey, oh, doesn't count. <laughs> doesn't count. <laughs> Does not count. I thought that was a snag. Oh, was we're on boys. We're on. We get this one crossed off if I can get it in. <laughs> hey, oh, nice, nice crappie boys. So I am off to the lead. We get across this one off with a nice crappie. We're gonna get that off. Videotape I'm gonna, we did. I'm gonna grab a quick photo of this guy for Fish Brain. Make sure you guys follow me, Part Time Fisher on the Fish Brain app. And we're gonna let this guy go and tie on a new bait. He took it and then just sat with it. I thought it was weak. <laughs> nope, that's what they did. That he hit this one on the fall. Yeah. Oh, that's too funny. All right, boys. We're gonna let her get him go. Thanks for playing, dude. And I'm gonna get another one tied up. Like I said, follow me on the fish brain app and we're gonna see if Dad can get tied on. So I'm gonna leave us recording here just in case he can get another one. All right, guys, we're back. We're going with the little XD. You gotta look. They're hitting it on the fall. That keeps getting nibbles. Like I said, he got the one, but I don't know if we can count it, guys. Uh, it didn't, it, it, he didn't, didn't get out of the water. But we're gonna give this guy, I'm gonna have to slow crank it. These things are being a little finicky. They're a little slow, the water's just kind of quick Get this guy adjusted. We're just gonna slowly crank this guy in, let him kind of go through the, the water column. And like I said, hey, who knows? Maybe we get a bass, like I said, where there's bait fish, there's big fish. Oh, did we get bottom or did we get a fish, guys? Fish. We may have got a fish first cast. No, we, we lost him. We lost him, boys. <laughs> All right, we're getting back in there. We're getting back in there. Oh, I got too aggressive. Oh, they're schooling. They, they were schooling up over there, guys. Something chased them up out the water. Might have been my bait hit in the water. We don't know, but we'll get back. We're getting back in there. Oh, I got too excited, boys. Got too excited. I don't know that I like the rule, but I have to catch something before I can switch. You had something though, that's your problem. <laughs> oh, that could have been it, guys. We could have easily been on to the next bait. Here we go. Come on. Now, if Dad can remember just to do a light lift up to set the hook. Not take it away from them before they get the bait. I can scooch over and back. Oh, we may have got one, guys. We did. Oh, no. No. Oh, guys, they keep getting off. I just don't think they're getting the hooks all the way in.
just don't think they're getting the hooks all the way in. We might still have it. Guys, I'm being slow with this one. Cause I just don't know. We might still have a fish. We do, we do. We're taking this slow. We're taking it slow. We're taking it slow. We got ourselves a crappie guys. Little guy on the crankbait. And there's a hook in the mouth guys. That is, that counts. There is a hook in the mouth. So get his spines to come down here and we're going to get him unhooked and we are on to the third bait bait number three thanks for playing little dude <laughs> all right dad is now rigged up dad what did you go with he went with the looks like the shad colored jerk bait so not Not the monster bass one, the monster but bass. the good news that means then, guys, guess what we're gonna tie up? We're going jerk bait to jerk bait. We are going with the monster bass jerk bait tied on next here. And we'll see what we can get. Dad's a little behind. Now I know you guys are probably going, hey, that's a monster bass sack. You're not catching bass. Guys, go catch fish, enjoy life. We're using the sack, we're catching fish. If you notice, I just caught crappie on a, on a crankbait. Dad just, dad was getting nibbles on the worm. That's fine. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. So go have fun, go catch some fish and don't worry about it. Dad is using the Baker lures, by the way. We're gonna find the monster bass one here and see what we can get into. We're going that guy right there. Now, if we can get one more, I'll take it. I'll take it. We might go for one more on the. If I can get one more on this guy, we might mix it up. We'll go find some different spots, guys. See if we can find some of these bass, pike, maybe that live in here. Um, but yeah, so let's get this tied on, and I'll check back in with you when I'm done. All right, guys, we are tied on. Running the slick stick. Dad's running the other jerk bait. We're just gonna get this guy set up here. Oh boy. And guys, I forgot to crank down this guy. So give me a sec, we'll get the backlash out and then we'll start jerking this in. And I think what we're gonna do, especially with these finicky crappie, Smaller miles on some of these guys, but there are some big ones in here. This is the lake. If you haven't checked my Instagram, go check it out. Part-time fisher, I'll link it down below. I, that I did pull the 17 inch, three pound crappie out of, which is a master angler here in the state of Nebraska. Uh, the record, by the way, in the state record is four, four pounds. And that was actually cut out of a farm pond. This is not a farm pond. This is definitely a public lake. So, dad may have had one and oh i don't know did we count it he snagged him guys he, he snagged you know what we will count that we'll get a quick photo of that guy too it's got decent length on it so once he gets him unhooked here have him turn around guys that's a good healthy crappie there so perfect got a photo we'll count that we'll let dad tie on a new bait as he almost falls back in the lake himself so dad is on the board now, guys. Oh, he's gonna go, he said no side swipe. So we're not gonna count it. We're not gonna count that one. Dad says he's actually a fan of the bunker. Like I said, we loved our jerk baits here. So. He said he loves the action on it. He said, it's a, is it good suspending or does it float? It's got a good float. Um, the slick stick here is a nice suspending one. 
it actually sits up in that water column it kind of sinks a little bit um so a little different different jerk baits definitely that we got in the different regions like i said this one's gonna sit a little lower he's running the one that floats so the the pro or the positive to his especially right now with all these crappie and everything is he can kind of give it and i know guys another backlash i i'm sorry uh but he can actually give it a couple good jerks let that thing slowly start to float give it a couple more jerks get it down the water column let it slowly float back up so i think that is going to be the pro but the hard part is with all these crappie can he get one to actually bite and not swipe that'll be the hard part and we're going to get this guy a little little more there all right All right, guys. Well, we lost the slick stick 110 in a tree. So I tied on the bait labs. Uh, this is kind of a nice little minnow. It's got a little lip. We're gonna do a slow retrieve with this guy, see what we can do. Um, Dad's still working the worm, seeing what he can stir up. So Ooh. we'll get this set up, but we moved to a little cove here. Not much action. We might actually be moving spots again here. We'll just see what happens. It's a little too quiet. And like I said, if it, if it just gets completely quiet, maybe we go back up to the dam. We just keep playing around with crappie because it's just fun to catch fish. But there we go. Well, we're tied up now, so we'll give this a... Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> Crank that down a little bit. All right, guys. Well, Dad just caught another crappie, but we decided to come back up here. We had a great day on the lake. Uh, we're gonna mess around with these crappie for a little bit more, but you know, get out there, take the sack, go around the lake, walk it, drive it, you'll catch some fish. Like I said, if you haven't picked yourself up a monster bass sack yet, you need to. Um, go to the link in the description, pick yourself up one, and get out there. It's a great way to explore new baits and see what else you can catch. Until next time, guys. See you out on the lake.